Hello Year 9, today this video is on accuracy of measurements, um, which is exercise 111. So, for accuracy of measurement, when using a measuring device such as a ruler or scales, the measurement is limited in accuracy to the smallest unit of measurement on the device being used. If a ruler is in centimetres, a measurement is correct to the nearest centimetre. If a ruler is in millimetres, a measurement is correct to the nearest millimetre. If a scale is in grams, a measurement is correct to the nearest grams. Absolute error. The absolute error, or the largest possible error, is equal to half of the smallest unit of the measurement. The measurement could be half a unit smaller or bigger, indicated by the plus or minus symbol. For example, on a centimetre ruler, a length that is measured as 23 centimetres has the smallest unit of measurement to be 1 centimetre, so that the absolute error is 0 0.5 times 1 centimetre, which equals plus or minus 0 0.5 centimetres. The length could be as short as 22.5 centimetres or as long as 23.5 centimetres. If the same length was measured on a different ruler with millimetres to be 23.2 centimetres, the smallest unit of measurement would be 0 0.1 centimetres. So the absolute error is 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 centimetres, which equals plus or minus 0 0.05 centimetres. The length could be as short as 23.15 cm or as long as 23.25 cm. Let's look at some examples. For each of the following, find the absolute error. 8 grams. The smallest unit here is 1 grams, so the absolute error is 0 0.5 times 1 grams, which equals plus or minus 0 0.5 grams. For 17.4 grams. The smallest unit is 0 0.1 grams. The absolute error is 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 grams, which equals plus or minus 0 0.05 grams. C, 27.625 litres. The smallest unit is 0 0.001 litre. The absolute error is 0 0.5 times 0 0.001 litre, which equals plus or minus 0 0.0005 litres. D, 15 millimetres. The smallest unit is 1 millimetre. The absolute error equals 0 0.5 times 1 millimetre, which equals plus or minus 0 0.5 millimetres. E, 10.3 centimetres. The smallest unit is 0 0.1 centimetre, so the absolute error is 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 centimetre, which equals plus or minus 0 0.5. 0 0.05 centimetres. Another example we have is Alana's bathroom scales are marked in tenths of a kilogram, so she used them to measure her mass to be 73.7 kilograms. We want to find the absolute error of the measurement in her smallest and largest possible mass. So her, the smallest unit here is 0 0.1 kilograms. The absolute error is 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 kilograms which equals plus or minus 0 0.05 kilograms. Alana's mass here is 63.7 plus or minus 0 0.05 kilograms. Alana's smallest possible mass is 63.7 minus 0 0.05 kilograms, which equals 63.65 kilograms. Alana's largest possible mass equals 63.7 plus 0 0.05 kilograms, which equals 63.75 kilograms. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please send me a message on Canvas. Have a great day.